Hi, this is Tammy here, doing what I love, and welcome to my first NFL mock draft. I did one last year, so I thought I'd do this one this year, and I'm going to be doing all teams. So let's get into this. This will just be the first round of the NFL draft. Um, in the future, I might do a full mock draft. We'll just be doing round one, and let's start. So I'm doing what I think will be the best for the team and what could happen. So pick one the Cincinnati Bengals. Every mock draft you see, this is kind of a universal selection. It's Joe Burrow, quarterback out of LSU for great reason. I love Joe Burrow. The maturity of the game, the way he trains, the way he plays, he's a fantastic quarterback, and I think that the Bengals' future is with him. Pick number two, the Washington Redskins have Ron Rivera. As their head coach, a very defensive-minded guy, and I think they'll take the best player in this draft, Chase Young, edge Ohio State. What a monster to add to that team. Now, a lot of people have the line taking Jeffrey Akuda. Makes sense, because they lost Darius Slay. But I think the Detroit Lions should take Isaiah Simmons out of Clemson. He is amazing. It says he's a linebacker, but he can play safety, Edge rusher, everything, and the Lions have really been missing that impact player for a while, and I think they will take Simmons with the third overall selection. The Giants here have a bit of an interesting situation. It's either they could go all line, Tristan, Tristan Wolf's really good, but I think that they get Jeffrey Akuda, corner out of Ohio. They needed that corner, that kind of person in the secondary, and I think Akuda's that person, so I have the Giants taking him. The Dolphins, it seems like they've always wanted to a Tungvaloa quarterback out of Alabama, and I believe they'll be taking him with number five, the man of the future. I'm a huge Tua fan, and I think he goes to Miami. So, most mock drafts have the Chargers taking quarterback. They will, but not the one people think. Every year, we kind of have a bit of a surprise quarterback pick. Two years ago is Baker Mayfield on one. Last year is Daniel Jones. And this year, I think the Chargers take Jordan Love out of Utah State. I really, no pun intended, love this quarterback. I think he's really good. And I think he can be perfect here. Learn under Tyrod Taylor for a year. And I think that's who the Chargers take. All right, now to the Carolina Panthers. They've made a lot of very interesting offseason moves. Um, the Panthers, most mock, dra mock drafts have them taking this player, and for good reason. Derek Brown, interior D lineman out of Auburn. Um, they need that D lineman pressure. That's their first need, and that's who they take. Kyle Murray had a fantastic rookie season, but the main issue for him and for the Cardinals really was that protection on the offensive line. And I think they go with the best O lineman here, Tristan Wolfs out of Iowa. Jacksonville, um, they lost to Jan Ramsey last year. You know, he is in L.A. A.J. Bouye, they traded to Denver. So I think they go corner here. And I think they go C.J. Henderson out of four. I'm a really big C.J. Henderson fan, I think more than most. I just really like him as a prospect. And I think that Jacksonville is a good landing spot. The Browns here. We'll actually have two straight picks of offensive line. The Browns, I think, need that. They go... Mackay Becton out of Louisville. And then we can have a very interesting scenario with the Jets. A month ago, I'd go all line, but they lost Robbie Anderson. So they need wide receiver. But I believe that wide receiver, this is a deep wide receiver class. They could get a good wide receiver in the second round. So I think here they go. Jedrick Willis, um, offensive tackle out of Alabama. Really tough, but offensive line I think is more valuable. And this is a really good wide receiver class. Oakland Raiders, they're going to start and with this whole kind of picks of wide receivers. They have Derek Carr. They have Josh Jacobs. They need that guy. And CeeDee Lamb out of Oklahoma is the best wide receiver in this class, in my opinion. And I think they'll take him. Las Vegas, you need that superstar. It's CeeDee Lamb. 49ers traded with the Colts. And I think they're going to get a wide receiver. And I think it's going to be Jerry Judy out of Alabama. Crazy two Alabama wide receivers. I think Judy goes to San Fran, gets Jimmy G that wide receiver need to keep them a top-tier team with that great defense. 
Tampa Bay, this is going to be a very unpopular pick. A lot of people go online, but I think they go DeAndre Swift, running back out of Georgia. I'm a really big DeAndre Swift fan, and I think that he... It's just, you know, Tom Brady with Mike Evans, Chris God, we need that running back. And I think they take DeAndre Swift. If they went safety, if they went O-line, wouldn't shock me, but I think Swift is the move. Pick 15, Denver. I was impressed with Drew Locke last year. And I think this um, year they're going to add another wide receiver. And it's Henry Ruggs, wide receiver from Alabama. Falcons. I have them taking Clavon Chase. I'm sorry if I butcher that, but Clavon Chase, and they need that edge pressure. The Falcons have been losing a lot of guys, and I think that they go him out of LSU. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Cowboys here, they're a very interesting team. They need corner. They don't have Byron Jones, but I think they go into a def defensive line. I think they sure that position up and I think here that they actually go with Javon Kinlaw. Alrighty, the Dolphins are back on the board. They got Tua with that first pick. You gotta protect him. So I think they go offensive tackle of Georgia, Andrew Thomas. Raiders are back here and I think that they're they need to improve that secondary. So they they're gonna go Christian Fulton corner from LSU. Three corners already. Now we go to Jacksonville, who their secondary took a bit of a hit. So I have them going Xavier McKinney, safety out of Alabama. And now we have the Philadelphia Eagles. They need wide receiver. I really like Justin Jefferson from LSU. I really like what he brings to the table. They compare them to Tyler Boyd, who's this great mix of speed, hands, everything you want. And I think that Justin Jefferson is going to be wearing eagle green. The Minnesota Vikings are on the clock, and they had a bit of an interesting offseason. They traded away Stefan Diggs, a very interesting move, I think, to say the least. I think that they could go for a couple positions here. I think that they go Zach Bond to get that edge pressure and make that D-line pretty great. Okay, guys, this is kind of the big thing here. I think that Justin Herbert from Oregon, I'm not the biggest fan of Herbert, to be honest. I'm not. I think he's good, not great, but I think that the Patriots take him. I think that he goes to New England and is Tom Brady's successor. A very interesting storyline here with New England. Saints on the board. Their defense is okay, so I think they go Kenneth Murray, linebacker out of Oklahoma. Very underrated in my opinion, and I think that's just a very good piece to add to this defense. Kind of what the Colts did with Darius Leonard and what the Cowboys did with Leighton Vanderish a couple years ago. Alrighty, we have the Vikings again, and I think here they go corner to replace Xavier Rhodes. Jeff Gladney, corner from TCU. Miami's on the board again, and this is interesting, because I'd originally had them taking Grant Delpit, who I really do like, but they also do need wide receiver, but I, I want to stick with Grant Delpit at LSU. He had a down you. I really like him. The Dolphins lost Minka Fitzpatrick, and I think that they really sure up this secondary. They got Byron Jones in free agency, and I think they take Grant Delpit. Seattle, I think they go AJ Epenza. Espenza. I'm sorry, I don't watch a ton of college football, but I think they go him edge out of Iowa to get that edge pressure for Seattle. Baltimore, I have them taking Patrick Queen linebacker out of, out of, out of LSU. Really good player, very underrated, one of probably my favorite defensive prospects along with Isaiah Simmons. I think that the Ravens need linebacker. I think they could also go wide receiver, potentially Denzel Mims, who I really like as a sleeper, but I think that they go Patrick Queen. Tennessee Titans. I think that they lost some alignment, so they go Josh Jones, offensive tackle out of Houston. Packers, I think this is where they take Denzel Mims out of Baylor. He is fantastic. I know they signed Devin Funches, but they need a true number two for Aaron Rodgers with Devontae Adams. Funches could play slot. I think it's Denzel Mims. And the Niners here, I think they go. And this is a very interesting pick. They could go wide receiver twice. I initially had them going Yuter Gross Matos. But I'm like, they, they have really good edge pressure so I think they could actually go 
wide receiver again here and go Jalen Rager out of TCU. I, I'm going to do that. A bit different from my original, but get two wide receivers. There you go. And then the Chiefs to end off, I think, will be taking Jonathan Taylor out of Wisconsin, my second favorite running back in this draft. And add to that amazing Chiefs offense. And there you guys go. That is my mock draft. So we have a bit of interesting shakeups. The ones I'm still unsure about is, you know, I mean, all of them I could see going out of the ways, but I think that this DeAndre Swift pick could be different. This one I think could be different for Dallas. Um, this one I think for Minnesota could be a bit different. Same with this Miami pick in Seattle and San Fran, but overall I like it. And I try to go with some reaches and some kind of surprising picks because that does happen a lot in the NFL. So let me guys know what you think of this mock draft. I'll put the link in below so you can do your own. Until then, this is my entertainment doing well. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.